what is business and commercial knowledge what are its characteristics and why you need to study this we will be covering this in this video the first thing is what is business and commercial knowledge bck short form hai iska ye kya hoti hai what is business kis ko hum business bolte hain remember whenever there is exchange of goods and services with the motive of making profit उस एक्टिविटी को हम बिजनेस बोलते हैं जब भी गुड्स गुड्स मतलब कोई भी मटेरियल चीज पेन कंप्यूटर कपड़े एनीथिंग मोबाइल व्हेन दीज आर एक्सचेंज्ड एक्सचेंज मींस हम खरीदने जाते हैं पैसे देते हैं और जो इसको बनाता है जो कंपनी बनाती है वो प्रॉफिट अर्न करती है उस चीज को हम बिजनेस बोलते हैं गुड्स एंड सर्विसेस सर्विसेज क्या होती हैं जैसे बैंकिंग सर्विस है इंश्योरेंस सेक्टर में सर्विस है फाइनेंशियल सर्विस है ये सब आपको एक सर्विस प्रोवाइड करते हैं और ये सर्विस देने के व्हेन यू दे गिव यू सर्विस तो हम क्या करते हैं वी पे फॉर इट व्हेन वी पे फॉर इट दे अर्न प्रॉफिट सो एनी एक्टिविटी विच इज विद मोटिव ऑफ मेकिंग प्रॉफिट एंड देर इज एक्सचेंज ऑफ गुड्स और सर्विसेज इज कॉल्ड business now there are lot of companies in the market who are in business of goods material goods for example samsung aap log company wo fridge banati hai tv banati hai washing machine banati hai dishwasher banate hai a uh, music system banate hain so samsung is a company which is in a business of making electronics all right now let's take for instance another um uh, who provides us services let's take a bank icici bank hai hdfc bank hai indusind bank hai stand chart bank hai all these banks provide you give you a service aapko money ki service dete hain loan provide karte hain insurance dete hain and these banks are in a business okay of providing services now there are companies which give you goods as well as services can you think of such a company quickly yes reliance is one such company right hum uh, hame goods bhi bana ke deti hai hame services bhi provide karti hai jaise jio service mobile phone ki service hai hame right so there are lot of companies like tata group of companies is there they also are into lot of products services bhi aur goods bhi so in and around yourself you see business activity everywhere you and me are also part of it chahe hum exchange of goods and services mein directly nahi involve ho rahe still as a consumer hum business activity ke part hain business ke part hain is environment ke part hain to understand what exactly is business and commercial knowledge we need to understand the in depth concepts involved in the whole scope of bck i'm going to use the word bck instead of business and commercial knowledge let's take a look at this chart and see what all comes within the scope of bc now as you can see all the activities activities in the sense economic activities industries trade that means stock exchange mein jo hota hai sharing trading commerce har tarah ki trading activity jo hai wo bck ke sphere mein aati hai ke domain mein fall karti hai theek hai aur is activity mein kon kon involved hota hai is activity mein kon kon involved hota hai the firms all type of firms msme it stands for micro small medium enterprises choti se choti choti se choti kaun si hoti hai maybe ek dukan choti si you know paan ki dukan hai kiryane ki dukan hai ya koi boutique hai ghar mein choti se choti industry se leke medium industry tak wo sari industries isme isme large industries bhi aati hain matlab jitne hi bade industries hain jaise ke oil and steel industry hai all these industries so from micro level to the large level macro level all type of industries are part of 
BCK, scope of BCK. Then comes इसका range क्या है? Range मतलब कहाँ तक ये फैली हुई है? From the local market to international level. Local market है, interstate है, interstate markets है. That means national level है and international global platform तक. Right? All these come under the uh, range of BCK. Then all type of markets, whether they are labor markets, produce market, financial market, ye sari kya hai, ye bhi, because if the trade is happening at local level, national level, ya international level, the trade will also happen in all sorts of markets, jahan pe bhi exchange of goods and services hota hai. Next are, who are its owners, holdings kis kis ke paas hai. Now ownership can be, they can be privately owned or it can be owned by the government which we call state owned or public owned. So all the enterprises which are privately owned or owned by the state are part of BCK's domain. Next are, iske participants kaun hai? Now as I told you, you, me, directly, indirectly, everybody living in a society who is eating, wearing clothes, using various services, electricity, going out and buying, purchasing things, we all are part of BCK. We are all part of this activity and therefore every society on the whole is part of BCK. Next are what functions it entails. From production level, production and operation, to marketing of the goods and services, to financing of goods and services, to human resources, all sorts of human resources, all this, all these functions are part of BCK. Next up, what are the main objectives? Is entire subject ke main objectives kya hai? Main objective kisi bhi business activity ka kya hota hai? To sustain. Ek to profit to hai hai. Yeah, profitability is very important. Second is sustainability. It doesn't mean ke aaj mene koi business kola hai ya koi humne business kola milke aur wo kal khatam ho jai, kal band ho jai. So sustainability is very very important. It has to last for a longer period of time. And after that also uh, profit, sustainability and growth. Ye nahi ke, um, for example, one person opens a small tuition class. So, five aate hai unse padne ke liye. Now, what happens is, dheere dheere he sees more children are coming because he is a good teacher. So, more children start coming in. So, wo ek room mein big benches laga ke he keeps. 10, 15 hote hain. Over a period of time, he starts teaching 3-4 classes. Then, 3-4 batches. Then, that one room is not sufficient. Moves, takes commercial space. He moves in there, starts taking classes there. Even that is not enough. He goes, builds a college. Even that is not enough. He becomes a, he makes a university. So the business has to grow. That is the main objective. Growth, sustainability and profitability. Of course, no business can be without social responsibility. We all are part of a society. We all have to live with the norms and the rules of the society. The code of conduct has to be there and that code of conduct is social ethics. We need to abide. Each and every business needs to abide by those ethics and responsibilities. Agar nahi karta hai koi business abide, then it is not part of our economy. Okay? Lastly is, what other disciplines are involved? Now, no subject, no subject can evolve or be on its own. Each and every subject is based on the other subject. They borrow from there, usse borrow karte hain concepts, uske laws, uski findings, uski research. So, all subjects are interrelated. In BCK, the main subjects which are related to it are economics, law, sociology, psychology, physiology, uh, philosophy. So, all these are related to BCK. Now, let's check the characteristics of 
BCK. Now the first characteristic of BCK is that it is an interdisciplinary subject. As I told you that it draws from various, it depends on usne kahi se research lehi hai, kahi kisi ke concept liye hai, all these कोई मैथमेटिक्स का है कोई लॉ का है कोई इकोनॉमिक्स का है कोई अकाउंट का है कोई साइकोलॉजी uh, से है सिमिलरली इट हैज बोरोड टर्मिनोलॉजी फ्रॉम वेरियस सब्जेक्ट्स फॉर एग्जांपल द वर्ड स्ट्रेटजी जो बहुत बार यूज किया जाता है स्ट्रेटजी हैज बीन बोरोड फ्रॉम मिलिट्री जागन जागन यू अंडरस्टैंड जागन मींस किसी भी सब्जेक्ट का जो टिपिकल वर्ड्स होते हैं उस प्रोफेशन में या सब्जेक्ट में यूज किए जाते हैं उसको हम जागन बोलते हैं so military jargon se strategy li gayi hai right then altruistic activity li gayi hai social psychology se that means selfless activity jo bina kisi profit motive ke hoti hai usko hum altruistic activity bolte hain altruism means selflessness so that has been borrowed from social psychology then the words bulls and bears bulls and bears bulls ka matlab hota hai jab stock market upar chal rahi hai bears ka matlab hota hai jab stock market niche aa rahi hai so this has been borrowed from again animal psychology so there are so many terminologies we you we will come across and uh, as and when we come across i will keep on telling you where it has been which discipline has it been borrowed from now this was the first characteristic second characteristic of bck is is it is vast it encompasses all activities from production to the manufacturing to the distribution everything is part of bck manufacturing of material goods of uh, eatables like sugar oil all this isko karne se pehle produce karna padta hai so manufacturing of all this even capital goods like technology and um, stuff like equipment all this they has to be produced from production to its distribution to its consumption are all part of bck so it is a very vast subject you understand like everything and anything which is happening in a society where there is business transaction that is part of bck lastly it is dynamic in nature now what does dynamic in nature means society is always evolving you know it's not sta stationary it's not a constant कि एक तरह की सोसाइटी है तो वो वैसे ही चली जा रही है नो एवरी डे देर आर चेंजेस इन आर सोसाइटी इन आर इन्वायरमेंट वेदर इट्स टेक्नोलॉजिकल इन्वायरमेंट वेदर इट्स फाइनेंस इन्वायरमेंट वेदर इट्स इकोनॉमिक इन्वायरमेंट इट इज ऑलवेज चेंजिंग इवन आर सोशल इन्वायरमेंट इज चेंजिंग सो वंस इट इज चेंजिंग सो रैपिडली हाउ कैन द स्कोप ऑफ बी सी के रिमेन्स कॉन्स्टेंट इट इज ऑल्सो चेंजिंग अलॉन्ग विद इट फॉर एग्जाम्पल if you recall maybe you can't but may if you take 10 to 15 years back 10 se 15 saal pehle kya hota tha kabhi koi baith ke soch sakta tha ki online shopping mein yahan se baith ke kuch order karu to maybe from uh, america it's being shipped we could never fathom we could never think of such things now it's a reality look at the companies like amazon flipkart ebay they are a new type of business online business kar rahe hain right this activity could not be even thought of ki ye bhi part of bck ho sakti hai but today it is an integral part online shopping is happening koi hum furniture manga rahe hain kabhi books manga rahe hain at our doorstep so with the change rapid change or advancement in technology the scope of bck or the nature is also changing now come to think of it why do you who is studying to be a chartered accountant need to study bck kya zarurat hai aapko the main thing is that you are as a ca you are the guardians of financial resources of the country okay and as a guardian you need to know about how the whole system works अगर आपको पता ही नहीं है बिजनेस कैसे काम करता है तो आप उसको क्या गार्ड करोगे क्या समझोगे अगर आपको किसी भी चीज की फंक्शनिंग का निटिग्रिटी का नहीं पता सो यू कैन नॉट वर्क टू योर ऑप्टिमल लेवल फॉर एग्जांपल सी एज आर मे बी यू स्टार्ट योर ओन प्रैक्टिस और मे बी यू जॉइन अ कंपनी राइट 
so even if you start your own practice you will have all type of clients koi kis business mein hai koi kis sphere se aa raha hai koi kis sector ka hai and if you join a company you might be auditing different companies kabhi aap electricity company mein ja rahe hain kabhi aap hotel industry mein ja rahe hain so agar aapko pata hi nahi ki business kaise chalta hai usme kya kya cheeze hoti hain kya concept hote hain kaun si firm kaise chalti hai kitne partner hote hain how are you going to justify being utilizing their financial resources you cannot so each business peculiarity to understand that you need to learn about bca right you must be thinking ma'am is saying learn about bca bca but maine to kabhi padha hi nahi hai maine na 11th mein padha na 12th mein padha i don't know what exactly it is i've never studied it since you've never studied it don't feel scared jinhone to padha hai for them it will be a cake walk it's very easy to understand the concepts what i'm talking about but jisne kabhi padha hi nahi no need to feel daunted there are ways and means you can improve upon your knowledge of bck how number one tip is take a startup any startup any startup company which has really made an impact in our economy can you think of such a company apple apple comes to my mind what came to your mind apple has revolutionized the way um computers are looked at the way mobile phone is looked at right so apple you can read about about how it came about there is a movie also steve jobs ke upar so apple is one such company then then any other company you can think of yes lot of companies are there which have revolutionized how we see have do you know about a company called tesla tesla has changed the way automobile industry works they they are going they are bringing a new type of energy resource right so these companies startups you must read about it will give you an interesting edge to see how business works how it develops from scratch to something very big and aise stories agar aap padhoge aapka interest bhi generate hoga number 2 tip is read about personalities जो भी आपकी फेवरेट पर्सनालिटी है कोई भी यू नो फॉलो देम ऑन ट्विटर फॉलो देम ऑन फेसबुक सी फॉर मी रतन टाटा दैट माय वन ऑफ माय फेवरेट पर्सनालिटीज एंड ऑफ कोर्स निकोला टेस्ला इज देयर सो इट कैन बी एनीबडी फॉर यू एनी बिजनेस पर्सनालिटी फॉर यू यू लुक रीड अबाउट देम यू नो व्हाट देयर व्यू इज व्हाट देयर विजन इज द वर्ड्स दे यूज द जागन दे यूज अगर आपको नहीं समझ आ रही look into it kya hai ye kya matlab hai and try to understand the concept third is when you watch tv any time you watch tv dedicate or devote at least 30 to 40 minutes to business channels like mint cnbc and uh, ndtv there are lot of business channels just flip through them listen to the news see what is happening around you in economic environment of the country or and internationally once you start reading about it you will start making sense zyada aapko samajh aane lagegi ki kya baat kar rahe hain and aap concepts yahan padhoge you can practically relate to them when you watch news or read a newspaper such as there is economic times there is mint so there are lot of readings are there there are lot of time business newspapers are there so you read articles in them okay and the fourth one is the last one which is very important always be curious why if you stop asking questions if you stop asking ye kyu ho raha hai kaise ho raha hai kab hua then your curiosity is gone your interest in that particular subject is gone so always be curious about things the more you are curious the better learner you will become